Ekufuado is not corrupt, and it's not now that he's going to be corrupt. He has never been corrupt. So you cannot even tag him with corruption. And he's going to select a team that is also hardworking and incorruptible. So you show by leadership. If the leader is not corrupt, if you are corrupt, he will sack you or prosecute you. And Nanado has fought for the human rights of this country. We are here today, you are able to interview me because of his sweat and his demonstration. That led to the abolition of the criminal libel law. At first, if you are a radio station and you speak against the government, you will be prosecuted and sent to jail. Many a times, you will not even face prosecution. You are just thrown into jail. This is a man who fought for a, a democratic country like ours. And when you work and work hard and fight for the things that you believe in, Many people tag you as arrogant. And that is why our opponents were going on. Nanato believes in civil liberties and civil rights. And believes that democracy should be and has fought for it. So they tag him, you are violent. They tag him, you are arrogant. If a man believes in something in his conviction and pushes for it, and the country benefits as a whole, this is a man who believes in Ghana and will definitely move Ghana forward. And one district, one factory, he will do it. The one million dollar uh, per constituency, we will do it. Free HS, uh, SHS, we will do it. Teacher first, we will do it. Nurses and teacher allowances, as he said, he will restore. We will make sure that when it comes to infrastructure, when it comes to health, when it comes to education, all the sectors of the economy, he will perform and Ghanaians will see. Dr. Baumia is also there to also help him with the management of the economy. And his experience and his knowledge in economics, you cannot doubt it. He's not going to do what your metrics with, the, with our economy. He's actually going to make sure that the city stabilizes. The economy is managed in such a way that we don't borrow more than we can we can um, actually um, uh, spend. We make sure that we generate income internally. All the harbors, if you are bringing in a machine or industrial uh, machine that are going to help with the production and create jobs, we are not going to tax you. We are going to do a, we are going to be a production friendly government rather than a taxation friendly government that is the NDC. They have taxed and taxed and taxed. If we hadn't resisted them in parliament, they were even going to tax condoms. They tax appetition. Everything is taxed. This is a government that is not sensitive to the business community. NPP, we believe in the private sector. We're going to make sure that businesses flourish. As they flourish, they will employ more people. There will be money in the pockets of people. That is what we see. Thank you very much, madam.